Okay, welcome to the very first um, news and updates. Um, this is my company called SSA. I, w I run it as a partnership with another person called Kyle Heller. And um, we're working in Japan, Tokyo. I'm at the moment in Mitaka. And um, feel free to visit anytime. Uh, this is my company's name, Sunshine Avenue. And today is March the 16th, 2018. And I have four news articles to introduce you today. I'm hoping this will be about a two or three minute video. Not just very short clips, but um, just something to, that you can listen to and hopefully talk about the topic, um, get um, challenge your English, that type of thing. So the first topic today is Vanessa Trump. Uh, Vanessa Trump will, it's a kind of a, I guess, dark topic, but Vanessa Trump will um, divorce Donald Trump Jr. This is a picture of Donald Trump Jr. This is his dad. And um, as everyone knows, um, Donald Trump is a billionaire. So he has all the money um, he needs. But um, um, I put this keyword like father, like son. So, and I think in Japanese there's a similar quote, but um, same as his father, he will divorce this lady. Um, I believe this is Vanessa Trump, I found on Google. Um, but um, yeah, he, this, is, this will be the, his first divorce. And pr like my guess, my personal guess, will be not his last guess. Once you get enough money not to worry about things, then um, it's hard to weather storms, I think. And divorce is just the easy way out. Um, so this divorce is uncontested, which means that um, it's um, that he like she's actually divorcing him, but he is OK with it. He's like, yeah, no problem. I agree with the divorce. So it's uncontested. Right? He has no problem with it. Um, this is one of the websites. There's many websites, but this is one of the websites I looked at to check the information. Donald Trump Jr. is 40 years old. He's been helping his father, um, D Donald Trump Sr., um, with um, various activities in the White House but he's very unpopular and people see him as not such an, an intelligent person so when we say Donald Trump Jr. Jr. would refer to the younger person who's named after the father with the same name and senior would be the father so, um, so yeah okay uh, we'll see how that goes, but most likely um, everything should be finished within a month or so and they, he would probably find a new wife within a year, I imagine. Uh, next news will be the Kauai Monster Cafe and I went there with my sister and a big shout out to Casino. Um, so um, she's my sister, but um, and also my brother Ben. Um, hopefully he can come to this cafe with me or any students is very welcome <laughs> but one meal costs us like it's really expensive i spent almost five how much did i spend like i think fifteen thousand yen there for my family my and my sister spent something like like yeah five thousand or something it's, it's really expensive fifteen thousand yen would be like a hundred and fifty American dollars I guess um, but you know like it's all about the atmosphere the parades everything's cute and uh, this particular shop opened in 2015 is in a location in Tokyo called Harajuku um, they launched a new some new dishes and it's uh, uh, the dishes are full of kawaii-ness and this Kawaii-ness is particular to Japan. Um, we don't use this word in English, kawaii. It's uh, kind of roughly translated as cute, 
or um, but it's more it also has um, Kawaii has another feeling like oh lovey dovey cute but um, yeah we, we don't um, we don't particularly um, value that trait in overseas so here's some pictures and this is the website in Japan today um, yeah it's as you can see they they concentrated on monster theme um, I saw actually this particular lady when I went there um, but so I think maybe the staff don't change a lot and they must get quite a good amount of money but they do like performances and many different things um, it's particularly themed on monsters of course so um, the burgers are colored and shaped like monsters I'm not sure what this is meant to be um, or this one but yeah like everything is very interesting but the actual quality of the food is very like average um, I was I didn't feel it was so tasty personally like considering I spent like 15,000 yen um, but um, but I mean they put a lot of effort into making it exactly like the picture so what you see is pretty much what you get and the um, and I do actually recommend you go there it's it's interesting um, and yeah it's it's a lot of fun but um, just be prepared to spend a lot of money there's a ninja cafe as well which is also very interesting next one would be Stephen Hawking's passing um, Stephen Hawkins passed away in in English particularly we don't say died um, I, I didn't put the source here but um, anyway you can find it from almost every website um, so we passing away is a much more better word to use for die he was a legend um, we used legend not just meaning um, like something that did, doesn't exist like a mythology but um, we also use it as a great person legend so Stephen Hawking was a pretty much a legend um, and uh, many people admired him not just for his amazing mind but for his ability to go beyond his sickness and for me I think that shows that anyone in any condition can um, make a big difference. Um, he was an astrophysicist and he leaves behind an incredible legacy. So a legacy would be how you want to be remembered. Okay. So um, legacy. So oh yeah. Anyway, it, it doesn't uh, give such a good good definition here. But uh, but anyway, he brings about he leaves behind an incredible legacy and when I die I hope I also leave behind some type of legacy Nick the professional um, something or other <laughs> uh, ah that Nick boy anyway um, so he was one thing he was famous for was black holes um, and he he many people were just um, told like Einstein of course um, he he suggested their uh, existence and it's got confirmed time and time again that there's such a thing as some type of black hole um, based on the way stars move around certain objects um, and Hawking but actually apart from that no one knew anything about what black holes were and Stephen Hawkins was one of the few brilliant minds who can actually comprehend them and he could um, even say what was inside a black hole and about Hawking radiation so um, so a lot of things we know about black holes is because of Stephen Hawking so he was truly an amazing legend finally um, we have Google Home versus Amazon Echo and this is something I, I like technology but uh, this is something that was very interesting for me because um, I'm thinking um, I might invest in one um, I use Amazon 
quite frequently, but I also use Google like every day, of course. I, this is this browser is Chrome, so. Um, but pretty much, this is the battle for the home. So um, Amazon wants to be the go-to place for like videos, for shopping, for for you for your life, and Google is the like like the giant of the internet. So these two feel that by having this device, they can connect people to their platform, their, their, their platform, much more easily. So, um, so Forbes, this is, um, this is the Forbes website. They did um, 45 questions. This isn't the first time they did those questions, but... Um, um, they, it's the second time, I think it's the second time, but um, they basically found this uh, this time and pretty much last time that um, the Google Home was the best um, in terms of accuracy. Um, but and but the one of the key takeaways is from last year. So this is right at the bottom. From from last year, November the 20, 2007, um, the score was much, much less than now, which is 27.7 and 23. So, um, like, absolutely, these two companies are improving dramatically, even in such a short space as, like, maybe four, five, six months. And um, pretty much my conclusion to this test would be I think we're heading with the, we're heading to full recognition and machine learning capabilities of a full smart of a of a four it shouldn't be of a four uh, a full smart house um, abilities so um, I think um, soon smart houses uh, no houses you would be able to talk to your air conditioner you'll be able to uh, sorry you'll be able to um, talk to to your computer refrigerator you'll be able to buy things by voice and uh, maybe there'll be some type of authorization code needed um, you'll be able to do um, you'll be able to do many things without opening anything just by your voice and I think um, this kind of convenience every every step every technology is about convenience so I think this type of convenience uh, will be a key point a key selling point for these companies and um, yeah, Google's AI ability is getting better. Um, we still don't know. Um, we still don't know the impact of AI. Some people think it will uh, ruin humanity. I think it's okay, no problem. <laughs> but uh, hmm. we'll see what happens. And my feeling at the moment is, if the price comes down. I'll be very interested to buy it and possibly even use it um, in lessons in in this school, in my English school. Okay, thank you very much. Have a wonderful day.